Uh -oh. So that's what we're going to need to do. Yeah. You're a wuss, but you can throw. Who? Yukimaru, you're a story here. Hanako is super fast. She's low level, but she can throw, and she's invincible. Yeah, unlike Tink, who just can't throw the problem. Which is unfortunate, because he's Tink. And I don't know why Hanako can throw. Uh, because she's not a monster when she's an adult. Oh, because of spoilers? Well, no, because Hanako as a kid's a monster for some reason as an adult. No! No, no, she's still a demon. Oh. Which is spoilers also, but... I don't know. Let's see here. She just... I don't know, maybe... Uh, bake in preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes until cake springs back when lightly touched. Mm -hmm. Let cool in 10... Let cool in 10 minutes before serving. <laughs> um, now, I don't know for sure that that's the actual recipe that that made the cake Dude. in the picture. But if I try it... On a recipe where I do know the ingredients list, this is chocolate baked and serves, created by a recipe generating neural net that I trained. <laughs> it's the worst chocolate thing I ever tasted, thanks to the cup of horseradish that the neural network threw oh, in there at the I'm end. I'm invincible. I can poison them while I'm going while on the way. Oh yeah, that's the other thing is you gotta keep them clustered close enough together for the throw to still work. And they'll follow me. Not if you have a bunch of people that are distracting them. The people will go along. Um, due to the cup of horseradish that the neural network threw in there at the end. <laughs> some people claim it's delicious, but they're er, but clearly they're space aliens with a weird fondness for horseradish. <laughs> I can also use attack to move my own people because they're invincible. <laughs> Photo credit: Jono Elvis or Jono Ellis, lover of horseradish and alleged human. <laughs> <laughs> Title: Easy peanut butter brownies. Ingredients: Sugar, egg, butter, flour, salt, cocoa extract, baking powder, vanilla. Nowhere in that does it say peanut butter. <laughs> oh, oh, poison boy. <laughs> ready, 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 <laughs> Is that so? Dude. I think that uh, Naren just got cornered. No, she'll be fine. Oh, right, Hanako's corner is hell, but... Yeah, Naren's yep, just cornered. inconvenienced. No, she's not cornered at all. Or, is it Korra that's... Korra's there? slightly cornered. I mean, any cornered at all is cornered in this particular case. Oh, no, no, Korra is, is definitely very cornered. Yeah. Oh, they're poisoned, but they aren't. Interesting. Um, melt chocolate, butter, and peanut butter together in microwave, even though it didn't ask for peanut butter. Um, combine all other ingredients and pour into a <laughs> greased 19 or 9 by 13 pan. Bake in 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes until brownies appear a little underdone on top, but not gooey. <laughs> Parentheses. Makes 12. <laughs> Asteroid drop! I don't care if I'm hitting my friends. My friends are invincible. Oh, also change I think we'll turn you into a pony, which means no more lifting for that character. Ouch, critical hit. So no, there's... I have no idea how this will end. This could end any which way. How did Korra move? She walked. I'm just saying, how'd you move the print? I didn't. Core just took a long, a roundabout way. Oh, I thought that it was all the way sealed off. No, the one completely sealed is Hanako. That one pretty over there is going to make things really difficult. Ah, uh, yeah, well... Oh. Those two over there have decided not to move. Oh. Rip. Well, not really rip. I guess... I could throw him! Well, the other thing is that that makes it so you can chain their movements together better, because you can chain the explosion so that he explodes along the way. <laughs> Although, does that count as killing your teammate? Nah, I don't know. It's not really a big deal. It's always that pretty dude, pretty dude, pretty dude. <laughs> so they don't affect the ending at all if you kill your teammates. If you do it a lot. And I think Adele has to do it. And is a lot like 200 or like 50 or what? I don't know and I I can't lift him off of a no-lift panel. No. 
You can have someone hit him into that area, though. I don't think anyone can hit that like that. Which is really unfortunate. Because if I throw him here, I win. I mean, there's no way I'm not hitting everyone, right? Well, will Aziri be able to survive one hit? Unknown. You could try it. Just stand here and defend? Yeah. I mean, she's not going to take Geo damage. No, don't do that, because then it'll make him go to other places. If he doesn't attack her, she won't die, but I guess also nothing will get anything done. So just end turn, I guess? Yeah. Ready, dude! Ready, oh, they're ganging up on her. Oh! <laughs> 50 damage. Besides, as long as one of them's out of there, you can have someone else. Anyway, if this counts as kill my allies, though, this is gonna be a lot of allies. No, because they're still invincible. Oh they? yeah. The Prees are gonna just gonna die because they're special pretty dying powers. Oh, this is a sight. It's gonna hurt a bit more, really. Well, I'm. Oh, ow! Okay, that hurts. You must die. Oh. That's what I was afraid of. So there's one left. So Run we're, away! We're, we're here, yeah. There, oh yeah, there is one left. Yep. Nige Rundayo. Oh, you know that, huh? From you. Yeah. That being said, I think, yeah, there will be two survivors. That's not as many as I would like. But it's it's a lot better than no survivors. Oh, three. They're multiplying. Thank you. Um, Quick, Ash, get over here so I can throw you! It gets the peanut butter. No, it's butter, not gonna count. But something. probably by chance that the ingredient identifying part of the AI didn't list any peanut butter. But it's completely, blissfully oblivious to the horseradish. <laughs> Does it recognize brownie and then grab generic brownie recipe that it's seen before? Here's proof that the algorithm is It's generating... not following! Oh, they're too far away. I might lose because of that. If I had a healer, I could heal everyone, but I don't. I mean, you do. It's well, just not the base panel. I don't have a living healer. Well, who's relevant? I know, I can pick people up! No, no, no lifting. Well, sorry. I mean, you can pick. Wait, you could pick up someone who's in the area that's liftable. I guess we were pretty before you died. Yeah. I can wait until someone's changed and then throw them. You could. That will definitely count. Pretty dude, come on. Pretty dude. Where even are the red pyramids? Oh, there's one over there. I could send him out one at a time to bait him over, but that sacrifice people. Looks like you're the sacrificial printy. And All I can right. just throw so chain him over. Zach one of the allies? No. no. Zach can't move that fast. That's why it's a, I have a chain. This'll do it. Don't ascend. Ooh, that That's was successful. Nice. We got the soul litter. It's and new. And most of our yeah, all our ally deaths were caused by the death effect. That was the that was a third no, star difficult. The last one you threw. Oh yeah, I threw a, a good boy. Um, here's proof of the algorithm is generating recipes recipes on the fly rather Recipes? looking them up from a list of existing recipes. It figured out that it was supposed to be making Easter eggs, but apparently didn't know how and sort of panicked. <laughs> I like the thought that it panicked. <laughs> Uh, egg! Um, egg! <laughs> Title. Help! Title. Easter eggs. Ingredients. Egg, vinegar, food coloring, pepper. <laughs> Instructions. Place eggs in a saucepan and cover with cold water. Bring water to boil and immediately remove from heat. So far, it's technically... Uh, I'm reincarnating Cora. Cover and let eggs stand in hot water for 10 to 12 minutes. Remove from hot water, cool, peel, and slice. Place eggs in a bowl and cover with cold water. 
Let eggs stand in hot water for 10 to 12 minutes. <laughs> Just keep, keep eating and cooling them until they're good. <laughs> Drain and rinse with cold water. Place eggs in a saucepan and cover with cold water. <laughs> cover them with water. Bring water to a boil and immediately remove from heat. Again? Cover and let eggs stand in hot water for 10 to 12 minutes. <laughs> remove from hot water. Cool. Peel and cut into quarter inch slices. I don't understand this game we're playing. So you cut. So you peel them twice somehow, first off. They're magic eggs. And second but off, at the end, you peel. slice them into quarter inch slices before you've ever colored them. <laughs> They're magic, okay? Things get really quirky because of the two-part nature of this AI. Since one part generates its recipe in the list of ingredients, and the other part recognizes rather than from the picture itself, it can suffer from pancake waffle confusion. <laughs> Seeing a picture of a pancake, and the ingredient recognizer turns it into pancake ingredients, flour, eggs, butter, etc. And the second part, not knowing what the first part saw, has to guess whether it's a pancake, waffle, scones, or what. Sometimes the first part of the AI can really sabotage the second part. <laughs> when the ingredient recognizing part misinterprets a bowl of pretzels and apricots and a lemon as lemon, bread, and juice, and then recipe generating part is stuck with the task of turning it into a recipe. <laughs> Easy homemade lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Ingredients, lemon, bread, juice. Instructions. Well, you already have the lemon, then! Instructions, slice lemon. Dip bread into lemon juice to coat completely. Eat! <laughs> <laughs> There's different the bread into lemon juice and eat it. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't sound delicious. <laughs> so it's not like a Yoshi? No, Yoshi, no. <laughs> um, what if I give it something that's not even food? It still generates a recipe, because what the heck is not in the list of responses? <laughs> it shows a picture of Emperor Palpatine shooting lightning. <laughs> Why? <laughs> With Darth Vader behind him. Why? And it says, title, homemade cleaner, <laughs> ingredients, water. I don't, why is there a picture of, why is there? That's just what he used as his random exam, or she used as her random example. Ex oh. Okay. Ingredients, water, instructions, mix all ingredients in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so put water in a bucket and stir it. Apply to clean silver dollar or silver dollar store. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Dead. I have no idea what that means. Super easy homemade water. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> ingredients, water. <laughs> oh. Instructions. Boil water and add a little salt. A <laughs> but that was an ingredient! Add a couple teaspoons of good quality vanilla extract. <laughs> let it boil for 15 minutes. Put in a jar to let cool. Enjoy with your favorite bread. Then you dipped in lemon juice. The AI is never going to be perfect at this task. After all, you can hide anything at the bottom of a salad. And you can always <laughs> frost a meatloaf like a cake. If humans can't do a task perfectly in the first place, you won't be able to train an AI to do a perfect performance by copying them. You can try it out yourself with the CoLab notebook. Um. Oof! Ouch! Your bones? Yeah, all that laughing hurts me. <laughs> Bonus content, more recipes, including more recipes for Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Why? I don't get it at all. Because she was showing that it will still try and make a recipe even if you put an irrelevant. Oh, in evil temptation. Oh, Disco Palace. And no plot again. Uh, this is a very random place for a story mission. All of the dragons are all looking at other dragons. Did you remember the instructions? No. He got confused and he can't remember which ones are which. I don't know what you're talking about. Papyrus. Oh, that. No. AIs, named by AIs. Neural networks can be good at naming things, I've discovered. Recently, I've been experimenting with a neural network called GPT-2. 
which is an open AI trained on a huge chunk of the internet. Thanks to a collab notebook implementation by Max. Oh, wait, Boyle, wait, what? Rosalind? I didn't mean to send out Rosalind. Shoot. I'm able to fine tune it on specific lists of data, cat names, for example, drawing on its prior knowledge of how <laughs> words tend to be used. GPT 2 can sometimes suggest new words and phrases that it thinks seem similar to. or seen. thinks it's seen in similar contexts to the words from the fine tuning data set. It'll also sometimes launch into Harry Potter fanfiction or conspiracy theories, since it saw a lot of those online. <laughs> One thing I've noticed GPT-2 do doing is coming up with names that sound strangely like names of self-aware AI spaceships in um, Lane or Ian M. Banks' culture novels. Uh, in the science fiction series, the ships choose their own names according to what sort of... Or, according to a sort of quirky sense of humor. The humans in the books may not appreciate the names, but there's nothing they can do about them. <laughs> Hand me the gun and ask me again. Zero credibility. Fixed grin. Charming but irrational. So much for subtlety. Experiencing a significant gravitas shortfall. Now compare some of the effects pedals to the GP or that GP2 came up with to those names. Dangerous, but not unbearably so. <laughs> disastrously, very, disastrously varied mental model. Dazzling, so beautiful, yet so terrifying. Oh, magic wall's the wrong spell. Am I really that transhuman? <laughs> Love and sex are a mercy clause. <laughs> what does that mean? And some of the cat names. Give me a reason. Thou shalt. Warning signs. Kill all humans, <laughs> the cat. Oh, we're naming cats again? No, it was giving examples to show how much they sound like the ones from that novel. Oh. Um, did GBT2 somehow have a built-in tendency to produce names that sounded like self-aware spaceships? <laughs> how would you do it if it was actually trained on specifically on culture ships? A reader named Kelly sent me a list of 236 of Ian M. Banks' culture ship names from Wikipedia. I trained the 345 million parameter version of GPT-2 on them. As it turns out, I had to stop the training after just a few seconds, six iterations, because GPT-2 was already beginning to memorize the entire list. Can't blame it. As far as it was concerned, memorizing the entire list was the perfect solution to the task I was giving it. And yes, the answer is yes. Naming science fiction AIs is something this real-life AI can do astonishingly well. I've decided, or I've selected some of the best to show you. First, there are the names that were clearly warship AIs. Not disquieting at all. Surprise, surprise. And that's that. New arrangement. I told you so. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Bonus points. <laughs> Collateral damage. Ah, oh, shoot, I just nuked Danny. Friendly head crusher. I just killed Danny because he, all the enemies look like him. Well, then just restart. Ah, oh, he's alive still. You said you killed him. Don't I kill him. I need nurse. Uh, collateral damage. Friendly head crusher. <laughs> Scruffy and determined. Race to the bottom. And there are sassy AIs. Absently tilting to one side. <laughs> Ass Federation. <laughs> All caps. Oh, oh that, that, the caps make it better. <laughs> A small note of disrespect. Third letter of the week. Well done and thank you. Just as bad as your florist. What does that mean? What exactly is it with you? <laughs> Let me just post this. Pro tip, don't ask. Beyond despair. Oh no, my microphone's cord is heavy enough that it causes the stand to keep tilting upward. Ooh. I don't know how to tighten it. Ooh. Lol. Ooh. Um, beyond despair. Way too personal. Sobering reality check. Charming, except for the dogs. 
The names of AIs are even more inscrutable than usual. To me, this makes them much scarier than the warships. Hot pie. Lightly curled round the wrist. Color gold normally comes with silence. Uh -uh. Eight angry donut feelings. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Mini cactus cake fight. <laughs> Happy to groom any animals you want. 